Hey everybody, today I'm just gonna clean out my computer. It's a Threadripper 1950X, and I've made a different video about putting it together, but I haven't really talked about it much or what's in it. So first I'm just gonna quickly go over what's in it. I have two NVMe drives, Samsung, 512 gigabyte. Right here we have a Fantex Eclipse. It's a P400, silent edition, tempered glass, not plastic. This particular case can hold the extended ATX motherboards. It doesn't really have a whole lot of room for your wiring and everything after the fact, so you just have to be aware of that. I do have some extensions in here. I'm gonna open it up and we'll get a better look, but right now I'll just tell you a little bit about it. I also got some sleeves for the NZXT Kraken. I think it's the X62. I have a Sapphire. RX 580 video card. I do plan on upgrading that because this is definitely the slowest thing in the computer, the bottleneck as it were. And I think the rendering times and everything would improve greatly if I ended up getting something quite significantly more powerful. Honestly, I haven't really found much of an issue using this RX 580. I found that the performance is pretty good. Maybe it's not the fastest, but I'm not running a production house here or anything. I'm finding it's very stable and it's quick and I'm getting shit done. That's the most important thing. Deep inside in the basement part, I have a Corsair Platinum 750 watts, which I think should do me just fine. I don't plan on doing any overclocking or plugging that many more peripheral devices or whatever into it. I have two hard drives. I have a four terabyte Western Digital Gold server drive, and I also have a two terabyte Seagate, something or other. They're both 7200 RPM. I plan on swapping or actually adding in one more SSD, one terabyte to make my video files play a little faster off the drives with Premiere. But other than that, I'm honestly not having any issue with having Premiere using three of my drives instead of just two or one. The three drive option is definitely the best option for Premiere. Puget Systems recommends three drives and that's what I ended up doing. I, I looked at a lot of Puget Systems videos before I built this too. They did not recommend a Threadripper 1950X. They recommended an Intel 8700, I believe, coupled with a GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti. I think they were recommending the Zoltac one, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just gonna get right at it. We're gonna open up the computer. This front comes right off. I have to give it a little yank. This comes right off. Is everything well lit? Yeah, it's the so same you see all this? Okay. You see all this dust right here? So I'll just give that a little wipe right off. There's a lot of dust on these things. These things collect quite a bit of dust, but I wipe these off every now and then, so it's not too bad. But you can see a lot of the dust that's collecting on, on here. It's actually quite a bit. This is just after a few months. I'm getting a lot of dust build up like this and I cleaned it out probably about four months ago and you can imagine if I kept this on the ground this would be a lot worse now I'm gonna open up the glass I'm gonna put this somewhere safe so I don't break it but right on the other side you can see it's pretty dirty can you see all that dust Can you see it though? So I'll give that a little wipe before I put that in a safe spot. And now, if you look inside here, I don't know if you can pick all that up with the camera, but you can see a lot of dust in there. Now I left this on purpose because I wanted to show what it's like after a few months. I would probably normally clean this a little more, but I wanted it to be a pretty evident to see this is not on the ground. This is on a TV stand. And this is with filters and everything. So you can imagine how dirty your computer gets without any filters or if you keep it on the ground. Normally when you're working with computers too, you probably want to wear one of those wristbands and you have that attached to the ground in an outlet. But you got to make sure if you don't have that, that you're touching metal to de-static yourself especially if you're going to use a cloth or something like that, you want to very carefully wipe it off. You want to not touch any of the electronics or anything and use the spray, the air, the compressed air for that. But I'll just kind of give it a quick little wipe with a dust cloth. The tubes, the wires where you can see dust. 
but don't touch the motherboard, don't touch your hard drive, don't touch any electronics or anything that are exposed or anything like that. Just kind of give a quick little surface wipe, you know? <clears throat> then around the back too. It gets pretty dirty around the back. Next, we're just gonna take it outside and we're gonna uh, use a can of this compressed air and we're gonna blast it off outside. There's another filter on the bottom I forgot about. This one isn't very dirty at all. I'll just kind of give that a little wipe on my pants. Stick that back in. So now I carefully lift this out. There's a lot of wires behind here and stuff, so it's not easy. Can you see that? Okay, the thing about these spray cans is they get cold as you use them. So it's good to have a couple of them and to let one of them get warm, warm up as you're using the new one. So now it's all cleaned out and I just have to put it back together. You always feel a little insane talking to the camera when no one's around. I hate it when you run into people that you don't know at the grocery store and it looks like they're talking to you, but really they have those Bluetooth headsets in and they're talking on the phone to their partner or something like that, but they're looking you directly in the eye and saying something. That's the weirdest shit. And keep in mind that you won't have to go all go through all this if you don't have a water cooling system like an all-in-one water cooling system like i have but also keep in mind if you end up getting one of those inline hard tubing or soft tubing uh not all-in-one water cooling solutions then you'll have a lot harder of a time dealing with cleaning your computer and you'll also have to clean your lines you have to be careful you don't get the wires on the inside stuck in the fans or anything as you're putting these back or that'll make a horrible noise and potentially short out one of your wires. It'd be a good idea to get one of those mod mats like Gamers Nexus has to work on your computer and also one of those magnetic plates to keep all your little metal screws in and stuff. Gamers Nexus, their mod mats has a really cool thing where they have all these uh, sections so you, if you're taking apart your graphics card and doing a, putting a water cooling block on it then you can keep all the screws organized and remember where they all came from. But you could also use like a dry erase marker and like a magnetic pad that you could write on. Those work really well. So I'm just about done for this. Make sure you like and subscribe. That really helps out the YouTubers, not just my channel, but everybody. 
and also it might help me out in getting my videos a little more viewed or not. So thanks a lot and make sure you come back and check out some more. See ya.